in second place for Mobile One Optus Racing, car number 25, Chas Mostert. <laughs> Representing the winning team, Martin Short. And in first place, Holden's 50th and final championship race winner for Red Bull Ampole Racing, car number 88, Brock Feeney. <laughs> Making the presentation of the third place trophy, the inaugural winner of the Adelaide 500 in 1999, Craig Lowndes. Presenting the second place trophy, CEO and founder of our naming rights sponsor Velo, Aaron Hickman. <laughs> Presenting the team's trophy, Andrew Daniels, chair of the South Australian Motorsport Board. <laughs> Presenting the first place trophy to our winner, the Premier of South Australia, the Honourable Peter Malinowskis. And presenting the winners, Laurel, CEO of Bano Adelaide 500, Max Walker. And now to our 2022 Repco Supercars Champion. For Red Bull Ampole Racing, car number 97, Shane Van Gisbergen. <laughs> Presenting the championship trophy, the CEO of Repco, Wayne Bryant. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what a race, what a weekend, what a year. Your race 34, Velo Adelaide 500 podium and the Repco Supercars champion for 2022. Let the celebrations begin. What a scene. That's the championship winning car, Shane Van Gisbergen, 21 victories in this championship season. And the 615 point margin where it was all done. And a gigantic moment for Brock Feeney, his very first ever supercar victory over Chaz Mostert today. It was yesterday's race winner. And he's in the squad there, fighting for the today. And now closest to Cameron Martin Short, the engineer for Brock. Big moment for him as well. Those two have worked together through Super 2 and now into the main game and it is so cool to see so many people enjoying this on the pit straight here and to see so many people out here across the course of the weekend. Quarter of a million people attending over four days and that was the object of the exercise in resurrecting this event for the South Australian Government. So fantastic performance, huge job. June the 23rd was when the formal announcement was made that the event was returning and all of that civil engineering to get it back. Boost Mobile highlights now for the last time in this championship season. And it was a very even start between the two teammates and lifting the throttle and yielding into position number two was Will Davis and allowing Anton to get the job done. Some of the specialty camera shots gave us great views of what was going on out there today. It was wild. Jake Estecki eats concrete on the outside of turn 